Well, I figured now's a good time to do a little video about my here 1968 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. I picked it up in June of last year on Craigslist. Um, trying to edit some pictures into here because I got a lot of pictures of it. Um, picked it up in June of 2015 from an older guy um, who he bought it from a guy that had it sitting on his property in a little town called Edgewood outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico and it sat since 1983 doing uh, doing nothing guessing the guy just had it on his land trying to you know hang on to it I'm gonna fix it one day and holding on to it, then the guy died. He must have been an old guy, or maybe he just wasn't driving it. I don't know the story, but uh, I found in the car a bunch of uh, papers and receipts and stuff that said, you know, like New Mexico State Fair, 1983, and uh, newspaper ads with, you know, beer only a dollar for a six pack and stuff, you know, dated, dated stuff inside. So, um, that was how old the car was that it was sitting and when I went and test drove it, it, it ran and drove the uh, guy who, who grabbed it from the old fellow, um, got it running and I drove it and I was decided pretty quick that hey, I need to get this car so I grabbed it, brought it back and uh, you know, been working on it. Uh, so stuff I've done, I got rid of the two-speed Jetaway um, automatic transmission. It was a two-speed, not quite a power glide, but like a power glide. Uh, Super Turbine 300 is what it's called. And it actually ran really well, but it leaked about a quart, a quart a week. Um, a lot of fluid. It was it had a bad seal and I went and had a Turbo 350 put in it that I yanked out of a 1974 Oldsmobile Omega from the uh, junkyard here in Albuquerque, you found one. So I had that transmission put in, I uh, took out the uh, old points distributor and I put in a HEI, GM HEI distributor in it. That made a big difference. Let's see that HEI. Yeah. Uh, the motor here, um, actually it was when the original points were going bad, uh, I couldn't figure it out. You know, I never had a car with, with an old distributor like that and uh, I was sprayed some carb cleaner around my intake and I heard the idle pick up so I thought, oh my, I, my uh, intake manifold gasket's bad and it, it was because it did pick up the, the carb cleaner through the seal. So I took the intake off and I re redid the seal, a new gasket, cleaned it all up, I painted everything. Um, that came out nice. I had to change the air cleaner. I have the stock, stock air cleaner. Uh, but I couldn't use that with the HEI, it doesn't clear. So I got a riser, I need to get that hooked up to the Quadrajet. This is the original four barrel uh, Quadrajet for this car. Uh, the numbers on the side, actually it says, uh, you know, for a 68 Oldsmobile on it. Just pretty cool. Um, I went through the carburetor and rebuilt it. Uh, the only real thing it needed was the uh, secondaries. Where they were set too loose, so it would bog out when they tried to tried to open, but other than that, the carb didn't even really need anything. Um, yeah, the motor looks nice, and the gold is the, this isn't the correct gold, but gold is the color for these motors. The small block gold before, you know, 71 or whatever. Yeah, last, about last October, I went on a drive and my foot went to the floor, uh, actually in these mountains near Santa Fe, and uh, I lost all uh, front brake, only had rear brakes. That was scary. Drove down a pretty, a pretty big mountain 
uh, in the Santa Fe National Forest, you know, all the way back to Albuquerque, no front brakes. But we got that, got this changed, went through, I rebuilt the master cylinders and did the, redid the drums up front. I still ain't touched the rear. Um, <laughs> that was fun. Um, what else? I had to replace the, uh, uh, their regulator, voltage regulator. I have the original Delco part and really what it was was the, uh, the wiring was, was done bad and I have to just tape together. I need to do that nice and probably put the original Delco one back on and see if that one is bad. Cause that one is nice. Um, so cosmetic wise, I have the original hubcaps for the car, all four, and uh, that's what I ran on it for a long time. Um, I found on Craigslist set of set of four, super stock three, whatever mag wheels for it, with the old center cap. <clears throat> Two of them out of the four I bought were bent. I didn't know, and I I had them on the car and it was vibrating and didn't like it, so I found another pair. Uh, but the colors didn't match, so I had uh, had the tires dismounted. I picked, picked the best four out of the six I had, and I uh, stripped them down, painted them. They look real nice now. It really handles a lot better than the little pizza cutters that were on it before. Uh, it's really nice. I did. Uh, there's the old tires. You can see how skinny they are. I could, they're like a 205, I think. Yeah. Anyway. So on the bodywork, just started whacking out at this section here. This was the the worst part of the whole car because this whole thing was was smashed in here. So I went and just got a socket extension and a, my big hammer, and I just went to town on this. And I pulled it out slowly, and then I got a little dolly set at Harbor Freight and just kind of worked out the the bad spots and came out nice. I have to just uh, probably go in with a little more body, some body filler here and really get the, <clears throat> the, the pits out on there. But I'm really happy with how that came out. I was worried I was gonna need a whole new quarter panel here. Uh, but the real trouble is, is ouch. That is no quarter panel. <laughs> you could see right into the trunk. Uh, so my, I have some friends that are going to help me weld in some patch panels. I just got to get those parts ordered and get moving on that. You know, get the uh, fenders rebuilt here. All four quarters, fenders, all, they all need patches. But hey, that's the only really bad rust on the car. Underneath, everything is uh, still coated and pretty good. Uh, you know, control arms are have surface rust uh, and the trailing arms and stuff with the rear end are, are rust rusty coated but not rusted through so let's started to strip those that's on the on the list uh, here when I was working on that quarter you know going back and forth I just got and sanded down this uh, it was just exposed metal the whole time I had it so I stripped it down all the way, just pri put, shot some primer on it because it was looking pretty raunchy and I like the patina but you know, I'm gonna, I wanna make some progress here so did that, <clears throat> let's go to this side. I actually parked under a tree, broke the mast on the antenna so found a replacement for the old style AM antenna. Um, let's check out over here. Uh, it's got AC, but the pulley is bad. You can see, let's see if I get it to move. See the uh, little clutch? I need to redo that pulley. Uh, I hear with these, if I, on this connector, while the car's running, if I put the AC on and put a, read the voltage out on here, that if this puts out a voltage, to engage this pulley, that means that I have a charge still in the AC system. Um, so, haven't tested that. You know, it's probably probably leaked out. Uh, but 
Yeah, you know the all the fittings, everything looks like in good shape. Um, so maybe it does work. That would be pretty great because it's terrible to drive in the summer. Uh, this the carburetor. It's got the uh, this type of choke where it goes down in the intake manifold. Uh, let's uh, see if it's set here. I'm gonna give it a little throttle so you can see the choke reset. Ooh, isn't that cool? Yeah, so, you know, AC, probably would convert it. Uh, I don't know how I can find any uh, R12, which I hear is just better to do, but maybe in like January that's r 12s cheaper and not in the summer, I don't know. But uh, maybe a conversion, maybe wait because who knows what I'm doing under this compartment here. But, um, <clears throat> let's look inside. The rear seats, they're in okay shape. Um, I don't like how the bottom pad is really starting to, to crack. Uh, nothing that's cracked all the way through. Um, but it's getting there and that's why I don't really like people sitting back here because I'm like uh, I guess you don't put your butt on the messed up seat so I only like people sitting on that side <laughs> um, I think the car had this side of the car was facing the Sun where it was sitting because this whole side is in worse shape um, but it's not you know perfect it's I this part of the seat has torn all the way through and I was driving with like just a Mexican style blanket you know on the front seat and it was a pain after a while I took that out and just taped it up um, there's a local upholstery place uh, if I can't find a seat covering kit for this car that includes the armrest if I can't find that then I'm gonna just go to a upholstery shop and tell them I want you to make make this seat exactly like this you know whatever it cost I'll get that done because that's what I want I want this I want to restore this car to a Cutlass Supreme how many 442's out there like there's probably more on the road now than they actually made I, I like a Cutlass so I'm gonna get that bring it back to its former glory original paint keep it just like this you know uh, it's got the vinyl top. I'm gonna have to pull this off after when I get to that part of the body work. Um, it's, you know, it's cracked, it's faded, it, it doesn't look that great. And uh, only issue really, you know, it seems solid all around. Except I got a bubble, a rusty bubble right there. So that's gonna need some attention. Uh, Gonna figure out how to take out all this trim and uh, rip, start ripping this off at some point. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just rocking it. Um, yeah, the dash is in really nice shape. There's no imperfections with the dash. It's all perfect, not a crack. There's a little uh, spot, a little like sli slice right there. Or somebody must have nicked it with something. <clears throat> uh, only bad thing is like the little bushings on the uh, the uh, these. Well, as soon as the first time I ever pulled these down, crack came right out. <laughs> and somebody had sliced the roof, slice and slice, and uh, you could just feel that hot air on your head in the summer. So I uh, I need to just tape it. <laughs> But yeah, need a headliner kit. Um, carpet's there, but it's faded. So eventually get a carpet kit. Uh, rocking, rocking the Cadillac floor mats, which is pretty nice. Uh, found this uh, bezel. It actually came out of a 1980s first generation Isuzu Trooper. I have a Trooper, and I love my Isuzu. Um, <clears throat> I had a first gen. And I knew they had these bezels in them, so I yanked one out, painted it blue, and I dropped a little Kenwood in there. Kind of mimics the style of the uh, how the eight-track player was put in these cars. So I threw that there, and I 
got some shears and I cut me some ovals and I put that in because I like to rock out and rather be listening to music instead of AM which works on its one mono speaker there doesn't work now without my antenna what else do we got <clears throat> what else I uh, put a screwdriver through the exhaust pretty early on so it needed the muffler whole tailpipe was all rotten it was all gone so I went and had a local exhaust place that I like they put a had them do dual exhaust and put an H pipe up in it you can see that exhaust is all new looks nice there's the H H is dirty because the transmission was really leaking on it before with the bad transmission uh, yeah um what else have I done not much this about the wrong color blue that kind of sucks but you know it's better than getting foam on my butt <laughs> sounds good pretty cool um just driving it just enjoying it I need to do a new uh, sending unit a few tanks off uh, something this my armrest pad all destroyed all cracked up so out of the catalog they only make the short armrest. You see this length? Imagine that here, and that's your 442, your Cutlass S. Uh, regular Cutlass had the short armrest. Since this is a Supreme, that is a longer armrest for that extra comfort. And they don't uh, manufacture a pad this long. I actually ordered one from Original Parts Group. Uh, and foam mold injected uh, style and the color was great the quality was was amazing but then I saw it was too short call them up and they don't make parts for that so luckily you know I have a few options I can get all new door panel with the short style armrest and uh, have it all new but it's not in bad shape and I don't know if I can get one with this cutlass supreme style uh, you know, I could get the regular cutlass or of course the 442 parts, but if I want to keep it a Supreme, you know, I like having the, the trim and I don't know if they make one like that. So whenever I get my seats done, I'm going to take these pads off and have them recovered. Um, and I got the chrome piece here, which kind of stinks that it has a crack, but they don't, the catalog don't sell a long version of that. So I think I'm gonna buy one of those little chrome kits where you get the sprays and you make your own little chrome cover. I'll have to repair this little chip section. Um, but then I'm gonna I'm gonna re-chrome them. I've seen some videos on that and it didn't seem too bad. So that's what I'm gonna do about my doors. And the, the base plate, which is, I think it's faded. It's kind of a funny color, but keep that. It's not gonna be in the sun anymore. It's going to try and keep it garaged from now on. The uh, only other thing that really stinks is the these are padded. You know, my mom's got a 442 and then we got another Oldsmobile. And my uncle has had them. Um, maybe it's a Cutlass Supreme thing that this is padded because all the other ones I've seen, it's just the metal uh, post up in here. Um, but on this side, it's got a crack. And maybe I could find another piece like that or uh, just leave it. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, with that, figure out how, what to do about the carpeting on this. Maybe uh, when I get my carpet kit, maybe they sell this. Maybe I can uh, find a matching color that'll match the floor and I could put this on myself. That'd be cool. Um, I really would like to get those front kick panels and have the speaker cutouts in them. I think that would be pretty sick. Because uh, I like turning it up when I'm driving. So oh, it's got all the ashtrays, all the little little things. It's it's got it all. The car was totally just all original. It didn't have a thing, not a thing touched on it when I got it. You know, even the original air cleaner deal, I got that. And actually, 
lost the round circular that holds the thing down. It's kind of is a bummer. I don't know where that is. Um, yeah, it's got, you know, the, a, just a ton of seat belts because one for that, one for the lap belt, one for the center, and one for this, and then one for my lap belt. It's like six. And then on two of them, the, the plastic must have chipped off. I got one of them in the glove box. Wish I had had them all. I need to find the teal blue seat belt latch cover things if I can. Oh boy. Uh, so, I've been meaning to make a video of this car since I've had it. I've meant, wanted to make a video talking about everything. Um, so, I think it's time to start it up. I got some errands to do today. Um, yeah, I want to keep making videos, keep my progress posted and documented. You know, I wish I had a, done a walk around video when I, before I started doing this body work, but I have a few other videos and a buttload of pictures of that. So that's where it sits. And, uh, I'm gonna keep, keep going. I think, you know, I'm figuring out what I'm doing next. I think I'm just gonna keep on hammering and keep on doing body stuff. Need to start buying my patch panels, uh, trim kit, because I don't have the trim here. You can see, you know, this chrome, this chrome here gets there and it's just gone. <laughs> so, need to start ordering my parts. And uh, the new transmission has a little leak. I'm gonna get that looked at. But it's under a warranty, so they'll get that fixed. Um, yeah, hopefully it keeps on going. I probably wait and do the interior stuff later once the dirt, messy, you know, bodywork stuff's done. Uh, keep running with this motor too. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Woo! <laughs> you know, I'll keep this, uh, keep the 350 for now. It's got no problems. It's, I think it's running a little rich, but it's. Runs great, strong motor, little leak, uh, oil leak, little drip, but, um, you know, ride it till, till I think it needs some attention, and I'll either get this built, or, uh, got my eyes peeled for a 455 if I ever find one of those. Uh, this is where it's going in this car. <laughs> um, I know that would, wouldn't keep it original, but... Who doesn't want that? You must really like that spot, huh? Wonder what's right there. What is with that spot? I used to hate that spot because it was. I'm not sure where the video got cut off, so I'm gonna re redo this part. Yeah, uh, it's got the original highway axle, uh, two ninety-three gears or whatever. Uh, bad for burnouts, good for highway cruising, which is all right. It's an open diff, so I'm always frying that tire. I uh, started stripping some of the surface rust and I just need to hit the whole thing with the wire wheel and hit it with some rust, rust oleum, whatever, rust reformer. Last little thing is on my bumper, get a load of this. This car had air shocks on it, which I removed. I actually removed the air shocks and did new coil springs in the back. This thing was saggy, but look at this. For the air shocks, it actually has this cutout in the bumper, like it's like it uh, came with four air shocks. Maybe this was supposed to have like a towing kit or package or something. Uh, so that's a bummer. If I replace this bumper with one of those reproduction ones, it's probably not gonna have this cutout. But I don't know. I don't know. How easy it is to repair a bent chrome bumper. And this section's kind of trashed, so I need a new one. Anyway, let's start it up. You'll hear a cold start, which is what you're here for. I'm gonna hear this myself. Probably make a separate video just for the cold start. Ugh. 
so let's see. Looks great. Okay, let's start it up. Good fall. Oh.